Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at quick tips. So today's tip is regarding scaling, how you scale an object. I've created something in the part design and I want to scale this to a certain scale. So at the moment, the scale of this object is around about 100 millimeters. So if we go into the sketch, the original sketch, we can see that this one here is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Let's close that. If I wanted to create a scaled copy of this, I'll come over to the draft workbench and use the scaling tool within here. To use the scaling tool, we pick the body, the item that we want to scale, come up to modification and come down to scale. It's gonna ask you what point we want to scale it from. So this is the point of where this object will scale. If we set the center point, it will scale from the center. If we set, say, this point here, it will scale from this point. Now, one of the things you must make sure is that your snapping is on. Now I've got the snapping on here with the padlock, and you can see I've got the snap to end point, snap to midpoint, and snap to center point. Those are the main ones I use. So those are all highlighted there. This allows me to snap to these points on this object. So I'm going to click on the top using my working planes and scale from this point. So you can see it's highlighting on this point here. I've added some filleted edges in here so you can see that the snap will be at the center point of that fillet. I'm just going to go for this point for the time being. Or I could go for the center point here. You can see how that snap is kicking in. Once I've clicked once, then on the left hand side you'll see a panel with the scaling in there. And we can scale up by factors. I've got the uniform scaling on, that means that if I change scaling here, everything will scale in uniform. Let's go back to one. When you create a scale, make sure to create a clone is selected. And we can scale up by say 1.5, 2 for double size, etc. But this might not be sufficient. You may want to scale this up to say 275 millimeters. So you don't want to sit there and work out the X factor from this side of things. Let's just go for two for the time being and hit OK. It creates a clone. Once you've got the clone, you can come down and look at the scale. Come into the scale and from here you can edit the formulas within. So let's click in the X and use the formula editor or the expression editor on the end and this is where you can add in a calculation for your scale. So I know I need 275 millimeters. And I'm going to divide that by 100, which gives me 2.75. If I hit OK, then I can click off and you can see everything scaling in turn. And I can do the same with this one. So 275 divided by 100. 2.75 and I can copy that, control C and OK and come down to this side as well and use the formula editor and just paste those in. Now I've got my clone, that's to the correct scale. And we'll just hide that. And we know that's the correct scale if we come into the part design. And we can take a measurement across here using the measure tool, so measure linear. So this measures the linear distance between two points. So I'm going to pick two points, or I could pick the edge. Control select those, and use the measurement. So it's 275. Now you may have noticed that when we were scaling, there was a pick option there. Let's come back to the model, and just delete that clone, and delete this scale here. And to do that, we come into this measurement tool, and use the delete. That's deleted all those there. Let's bring back the last action, the pocket, and look at the other type of scaling that we've got in there. So we're gonna scale this object from picking two points. Now, the first thing we need to do is create some kind of reference for that scale. I prefer to come into the sketcher, look at the object from the top, and create a new sketch along the XY plane. I'm going to pull in some geometry. Let's pull in this edge here and create a line. So I'm going to create a line from this point all the way out and set the distance of this 
to 275 and hit enter. So we've got this distance here. It's the same distance that we want to scale as before. Let's close that. This time, I'm going to use the draft. I'm going to click on the body that I want to scale. Modifications, scale. And it's going to ask me to pick the starting point. So I can come in and pick this point here. Now I'm going to click on pick from two points. And come in, pick the first point. If you look down to the left hand side, it's saying pick position. And then pick this last point. So let's come out and pick this last point. You'll notice nothing happens. And that's because we got to pick the end of the object. So let's click pick from two points again. You see we get a line. Now let's pick this point here and then pick the distance that we want to scale. So I'm picking the end of the object and then picking the distance I want to scale. Then this object gets scaled to that point. And you can see on the left hand side, we've got X factor 2.75 all the way down. So that's the other way to scale using a sketch and the pick from two points. I found this quite confusing at one point and I tended to make this sketch first and then just use the X, Y and Z factor to scale up to that point. It's not obvious of how that scales, but once you've understand the process, then it's quite easy to use. Again, I advise you using the snap options so you can snap to the right points in the geometry. So I hope that's helped you with the scaling. I hope you'll be able to use that in your workflows. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.